tried and true. That's the Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So this will be my first video that I'll be posting for the new year. So happy new year, everybody. For those of you who didn't see my last video that I posted on New Year's Eve, I was basically doing a vision board on the goals that I had for this year in 2023. And it has been a very busy year so far. So today I am very excited because I'm going to be doing my first storefront balloon garland. I just stopped to get my Starbucks so I can wake myself up. I'm going to make my way out there right now. And I'm really excited about this because one of my goals that I mentioned in that last vision board video is to get more business clients. So right now I have my balloons and all of my supplies with me. I have two seven foot balloon garlands, which I will be attaching together and hanging up on the storefront you know the outside of the storefront when I get to the location but because I'm very big on doing detailed tutorials I'm going to show you guys first how I made these two seven foot balloon garlands and then I'm going to cut back to how I actually attach it to the storefront so go ahead on and check out this tutorial so I'm going to blow up two balloons at a time and then I'm going to round the balloons out by pressing the top of the balloon and releasing air from the bottom of the balloon. And then I'm going to tie the two balloons together into a dupe. So I'm using pink balloons from GMAR in 5 inch and 12 inch. And I'm using pink balloons from Tough Tex in 17 inch. And as you can see, the two brands have two different shades of pink. Now I use 5 inch and 12 inch Calisan mirror silver, but as you can see, the Calisan brand balloons were popping all over the place and some of them blew up really odd shaped, like really coney shaped. And honestly, I've been more disappointed with the quality of Calisan balloons lately. So I would honestly suggest using Sempertex chrome silver balloons instead of the Calisan chrome silver. And I use Tough Tex black in 5 inch, 12 inch and 17 inch. So now to make my clusters, I'm simply twisting my dupes into clusters and you want to make sure that you double twist your dupes in there so they do not pop out. For the GMAR pink balloons, I twisted together six dupes, which is a total of 12 balloons. The Tough Tex pink balloons, I twisted together five dupes since those are larger balloons. So that's a total of 10 balloons. And for the black and silver ones, I twisted together six dupes each. So I'm gonna connect my clusters together by taking one neck from one balloon in one cluster and stretching it out. And then I'm gonna tie it to a neck from another balloon in another cluster. Now this can be a little tricky, but practice makes perfect. And before you know it, it will be easier than you think. Just make sure you get your necks nice and stretchy, stretch them out so it's easy to tie. So it's up to you to decide whatever pattern you want to do for your balloon garland. This is a color block balloon garland, meaning all of my clusters are of the same color. And since pink is going to be the prominent color of this balloon garland, I decided to alternate the two shades of pink in between the chrome silver and the black. So each of these balloon garlands are about seven feet each. So those of you who are wondering how I pack my car, I got my two balloon garlands in here remember these are about seven feet each so i have both of them put in here this is a toyota sienna by the way um i put down the back seat and i pushed the middle seats up forward all the way to, towards the front seats and i was able to stuff these two um seven feet garlands in here so this is about 14 feet worth of garland right here um i have my trash bag filled with my five inch clusters i also have um my unblown up balloons in this bag as well I have an additional cluster of balloons. I have a ladder, my stepping ladder, and then I have my bags with all of my supplies and materials in it. Maybe I'm too black, maybe I'm too bold. Sip up on this coffee, tell me do I taste too strong? Maybe you don't like me, do you think I care? So here's the owner right here. Hi. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Barbie Jones, located here in Inglewood, California. I've been here for eight years and I love fashion. 
I'm going to be doing a balloon display um, right here in this front window right here. So um, I was thinking about just doing it straight across because I didn't want to block the mannequins and all of the really nice fashion. So that's why I'm gonna put the balloon garland straight across. So I'm gonna start off by attaching some command hooks to the storefront using some Scotch rust surface painter's tape. Now I'm not gonna be using the command strips. I'm just gonna be using the command hooks and attaching it with the painter's tape because the painter's tape is easy to remove. So you wanna make sure that when you are putting these hooks on other people's property, that you can remove those hooks easily without damaging the paint or surface or leaving residue. I'm also gonna be using the Sempertex brand 260Q balloons to tie to the hooks. And that's what I'm gonna be using to wrap around the balloon garland. And then I'll just retie the other end of that 260 to the hook. I ended up attaching four hooks to the top of this window. So as you can see, I have my first balloon garland attached to the window. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tie a 260 balloon around the second balloon garland because I'm going to use that to attach the two balloon garlands together once I hang this one onto the wall. So I'm going to take this balloon garland and I'm going to push it against the first one as close as possible because I want to be able to wrap that 260 balloon around both of those balloon garlands. And then I'm going to first attach that balloon garland to the window, okay? And once I tie that second balloon garland onto the window, I'm going to go to the end of that balloon garland where I tied the 260 balloon and I'm going to wrap it around a few balloons in the first balloon garland. And then wrap it back around the second one and then double tie that 260 into itself. And that's how I'm attaching those two balloon garlands together. So I decided to put one more command hook at the very end right there because that second balloon garland was kind of drooping down at the end. And I'm gonna add another cluster of balloons by tying the neck of that cluster into a neck of another balloon inside of the existing balloon garland. And once I do that, I'm then going to tie that end onto the hook. And now it's time for me to add my five inch decorators. And I make clusters of four and tie them together using a 260 balloon. And I just wrap that 260 around one of the balloons in the balloon garland. And you wanna make sure you wrap it around at least one full time to make sure that those clusters are in there nice and secure. And then I just arrange them the way I want to. Now I've mentioned this in several of my videos, but I like adding five inch decorators to my balloon garland because it gives it more complexity and makes the balloon garland look more polished and finished. So now to add more interest to this balloon garland, I'm gonna be adding these disco ball type of foil balloons. And I just simply tied a 260 balloon onto the tail end of that foil balloon. And I wrap the two ends around one of the balloons in the balloon garland and it gets it in there nice and secure. You can also use glue dots. I like to use glue dashes, but once you put the balloon onto your balloon garland using the glue dots, it's a permanent thing. That's why I like using the 260 balloons because I can rearrange it and move it around as I please. I decided to also use some foil fringe and I just folded it into the balloons. Lastly, I topped this off with some foil balloon hearts in which I attached using my 260 balloons. One of the reasons why I love doing balloon garlands is that it allows me to express my creativity. 
Feel free to express yours by adding foil balloons, fringes, florals, or anything extra that you feel will make your balloon garland pop. And here's the finished product to my first storefront balloon garland. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I will see you guys later.